fast are you going? Do you remember? You don't know? Were you going fast, slow, or medium? You don't know? Mason's gonna get a ride in an ambulance today. He said his head hurts and he doesn't remember what happened and he doesn't remember anything from earlier today, so. You rescued them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how you chose to rescue the snails was by using my favorite chair. What if I would have sat on these? That's great. Wait, Dad, come here. This what? is the tiniest one right there, right there. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> that one will be tiny. That one's name is Slippy. That's Slappy. Oh, that one almost touched me. <laughs> we'll that, call that one Crunchy. No, no, let's call that one Sneaky. <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> Well, of course, as soon as I got in the right trailer, it starts to rain, but one of our favorite tracks is open. The bikes are loaded. I got snails all over my chair, so we might as well just go ride. Good thing we got your haircut. Lucas, gangster. Looks just like a school picture. I got three kids on the track right now and I'm gonna sit right here and see who's the first one to do that double. Technically it's a triple. You can triple the whole thing or double onto that tabletop. We got Mason, Luke, and Lillian. Let's see who does it first. We got Mason coming around first. Let's see what he does. Up next. We got a battle, Luke and Larry number four. Uh, Luke kind of went for it. The YZ85, I know it sounds horrible. We ordered a new carburetor. Should be here next week and hopefully it'll run a lot better after that. Almost. <laughs> Well, Lillian's got some open track. Nobody's got it yet. Yeah! Woo! Who would have thought Lillian was the first one of my kids to go for that? I know. Are you kidding me? I thought Luke would have gone for it. I know. Hey, Lillian. You did it. You were the first one of the kids to uh, to hit that. Yay. The boys are just like kind of messed with it, but you actually Come cleared on. it good. Can I see the video? Good job. Oh, I didn't video it. It's okay. I this, don't know when I broke you. It's fine. That's the least important part. And then as long as you have this part, that's fine. Does it still work? Yeah. still works. It's good. Just use one finger. You're good. A few moments later. <laughs> Take off your helmet, okay? You just stay right there, Dad, okay? Yeah, I'm on. I'm going to push on your pelvis, okay? Does that hurt at all? Can you squeeze my hands? Both of them? Excellent. I'm gonna look at your eyes, okay? How fast are you going? Do you remember? You don't know? Were you going fast, slow, or medium? You don't know? What do you remember? What's the last thing you remember? You don't? Do you remember coming here this today? No? Do you, do you know who she is? Who is she? What's your sister? Do you know who she is? Or who she is? Okay. Are you able to stand up? Yeah, I'm not saying you have to go. I'm not saying you have to go. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy your ride, okay? <laughs> I love you, bye. Alright, thank you. Bye. Well, 
Mason's gonna get a ride in an ambulance today, which is good because he's actually got some new material. He's got a lot of good Corona jokes he could share with people, but I don't know. I didn't see what happened. Nobody saw what happened. Here, this is the this is that triple we were working on earlier. So this is kind of a high speed section, but for the most part, the kids have been slowing down for this triple here. And then we got these rollers. It's not too rutted or anything. It's a little chewed out. So he may have cased it right here or high sided or uh, got sideways or something, but he ended up landing over there. I think they said his bike was over there when they found him. He said his head hurts, his visor's broken, which I mean, that pretty much happens every time you ride, but he said his head hurts and he doesn't remember what happened and he doesn't remember anything from earlier today. So he probably has a concussion. I think he's okay. We think he's all right. He just probably has a concussion. So they're gonna take him to the hospital just to get checked out for sure. Lay down, Mason, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. I'm here. All right, let's see the damage. What'd you do? <laughs> what did I do? You mean Mason? All right. Broke the weld right there. Broke right. it right out of the silencer. Right. And then it was something weird, that... and then there's packed full of mud. It's not too bad. How did that happen? Well, this this entire tube got pulled that way and it ripped uh -huh. out of there. Oh. So you just need the silencer and whatever this piece is. <laughs> yeah, that thing is packed with dirt. Need some grips too, maybe. It's like we just need a new bike. Cool. Well, thanks for your help. Thanks for pushing the back. Here, pull that part. I'll just hose it out. Looks like it's time for an aftermarket pipe. Meanwhile. Do you want me to get you another blankie? Still want to ride dirt bikes? Yeah. Does your head hurt in the front and the back? Oh. Right here. Does it hurt up here at all? What about the back? Not bad. She's getting it. Reminds me of a young she's Gina. Than Luke, so. <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know. Yeah, she's gonna be faster than me. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey everyone, I'm here to give you an update. Because of COVID-19, only one parent is allowed to be in with him and we're not allowed to switch. Mason just had a head and neck CT and some lab work done. Uh, both came back good. He doesn't have any internal bleeding or brain bleeds or significant swelling. He does have a moderate concussion and some brain swelling. So he's really, really sleepy right now and not really coherent. So what they're doing is kind of observing him here in the children's ER until he can kind of awake and start drinking and eating a little bit. But right now you just can't keep him awake for very long. As you can see, he's sleeping. So this is probably the most calm you'll ever see Mr. Mason. Right now we're hoping that he, in a couple of hours after he's rested, that he'll be able to kind of wake up and um, be a little bit more coherent. If not, that's okay. They're just gonna keep, admit him to the hospital overnight for observation to make sure his brain isn't continuing to swell or create any more problems. But just wanted to give you guys an update and i let you know thank you for all the love and support you've given us and um, forgive me, but I'm not used to doing this. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
He's almost there. <laughs> We're working on this double right here. We think Luke might be able to make it. If he gives a good drive out of this turn, he might be able to clear this double. Unfortunately, the only problem though is it's super rutted. Not making it easy for him. <laughs> nice. Jeez. That was a nice little nose wheelie, Axel Hodges style. Honestly, I don't even know how many times the pavilion's ridden. Two, three, four, five. I think this is maybe her fifth time riding in a few years and she's already going for doubles. Good job, baby girl. Moments later. gets a bruise. You know how you get bruises? Sometimes your brain gets jiggled pretty hard. That's why you're so tired. Hey baby. Mason. More moments later. No. <laughs> Can't wait, stay there, stay there. Get a little like a roost? Kind of. Let's get to do it for today. All in all we had a pretty good day some highs and some lows i guess you could say um mason's at the hospital right now sounds like he has a concussion so sorry buddy miss you love you bud but we kept riding because i think that's the way he would have wanted it right lillian yeah you did really good yeah. what do you think i think i did good how did you like it i liked it i was kind of impressed like um you actually got both of your wheels off the ground this time the jumps were easier to jump yeah the jumps i like the jumps there the jumps are pretty good. They've got a pretty steep base, but they've got good transition. So it's not too sketchy as far as the takeoff. And the landings aren't sketchy either. The landings are pretty rounded. They're pretty forgiving, except for Luke has one jump that he's got to do next time, right, Luke? Yep. Yeah, that, that one double that Gina was hitting, are you gonna hit it next time? I'm gonna try. So that should be interesting. Is that good? Is that your favorite flavor? Your bike kind of, your bike has big alleys too. I think your bike got a concussion. Meanwhile, at the Crusty Crab. Oh, excuse me guys. Uh, you, you need to stay back on that one right there. You're a little too close. Where do I go? No, that one over there. You have that one, you can have that one over there. Is this good? No, both feet need to stay on the circle. Both, all, like all of your feet. Yeah, all of yeah. feet. Okay, yeah. stay there, thank you. Good job. I'm so proud. So just a quick update. Uh, the doctor came in and Mason actually, in true Mason fashion, was completely passed out and completely unaware of anything going on. And as the doctor was talking about admitting him, he popped straight up and sits up for the first time, all coherent, looking around. And uh, the doctor asked if he wanted a popsicle and he said yes. And he asked for an orange one and he got one. And here's Mason, say hi. Mm -hmm. 
So he's been alert ever since, which is crazy because he's been sleeping this whole time since we first got here. So they actually thought they were gonna have to have the trauma team come in and look him over and then admit him for observation. But it looks like we're gonna be able to go home and he's super, super alert and kind of cranky. He's not very happy about his arm. He's got an IV in his arm and it's really bugging him. He's really grumpy because it's taken a while for them to come in and take it out. He almost took it out himself, which would have not been a good idea because it would have just possibly made a bloody mess. But um, first experience with an IV, didn't really know. So we're hoping to get out of here soon. The doctor said that she was gonna go write up the discharge papers, get us some meds to go home with. Fingers crossed we can be out of here in the next hour or so. Mason, how do you feel? Mm -mm. No, no. Are you tired? Your head kind of hurt a little bit? No, not anymore? Yeah, Mason doesn't remember his crash at all. Um, he's, he's still kind of not really Mason, but that's to be understood just because he whacked his head pretty hard. Um, rip helmet. Here's his, here's his helmet. Got some damage on it. Anyway, just then. Well, the bad thing about getting injured right now is that with the coronavirus, we can't even go visit Mason. We can't go check on him and see how he's doing. But Erica sent us some videos of him and it's just a bummer. It's just sad to see him all, you know, not himself in bed and with like a neck brace on and stuff. It's just, why does it always have to happen to Mason? It's like, why does it never happen to Luke? Yeah. Sad.